Yeah, well, you know, I'm I'm in a band, um, um, but I, I practice alone. I won't practice with the band. I'll send tapes to the other dudes in the band, but I'm not gonna, you know, I don't like to actually have to see them because I feel like for me to get the most out of the bass, man, I have to be be alone. And so I'm with the band, so we don't perform live. We um we like send tapes back and forth. Right to each other. Y yeah, yeah, to yeah to each other. So it's sort of only you and the band. Cool. One thing I do is um I always know like how you know. You, you come to Cafe, well, I guess if you're, like, you're doing a film, right? You're doing a film about um, cool shit or whatever. You're doing this thing about that you are like go to cafes a lot. And you probably, like, you know, you got your cup of coffee here. You probably, like, drink a lot of coffee, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I always, like, know how much I drink. It's really cool. Um, Jane, who's the waitress here, I'm, I come in here a lot when I'm not working. And uh, this is, like, my mug. And it's, uh, I usually, in the morning, from, like, if I'm here all day, which, you know, like, maybe five times a week I am, so like from nine to noon, I drink about 500 milligrams, milliliters, mil milliliters. And uh, in the afternoon, I usually have like espresso. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. So I always know like, you ever go, wow, I really had too much coffee today. Like I never, I never have that problem because you know, I got this mug and I always know how much I drink. You know, that's, and that's, that to me, that's cool. You were asking me before, like, what's cool? What's the true meaning of cool? Cool to like be under control. Like I'm in control of my issues here. Like I go, okay. I got a problem. I like caffeine a lot. I don't want to like, you know, start zipping around because I can't think right and write well if I'm uh, drinking too much coffee. So this, you know, I'm like, okay, 500. I know I can handle 500 milliliters. And like Jane will come up and you know it'll come down to like you know a couple, you know, a couple lines, hit like a couple lines lower. And Jane will come up and you know just fill it up a little bit so it gets hot again. And uh, but I know how much I drink, and that's that's cool. I don't know anybody who's like cooler than this man. He's like the coolest. He um, he's got great ideas and he expresses them to people. Um, he's like my favorite. Um, hey, you probably they, they want to meet you. Um, yeah. It's the man. He's the coolest. Um, he makes films. Ah, maybe I should interview him. Uh, he's yeah, yeah. I don't do video. Screw the real world, man. I'm going back to school. I hate love. I love hate. It's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know, you know. Is there one specific... Well, I, I try to combine the, 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 the intelligence of, of Joyce DeWitt from Three's Company, you know, with the devil-may-care attitude, you know, of, um, well, of a Fonzie... You know, and and I try to time that you know with a kind of a, I'm always where I'm supposed to be, right where I'm supposed to be there kind of attitude, like like a newsman, like a newscaster, like Tom Brokaw, man. That's how I kind of combine everything, like three parts of my personality: Joyce DeWitt, Fonzie, and Tom Brokaw. Understand? Yeah. Do you consider yourself an individual? Well, I mean, I'm a collection of individuals. I'm You know, they move around. 
Yeah. I play bass for. She like plays very temperamental too. Yeah, bass players come and go. Yeah. I don't know why. Every band comes and goes. So, are bass players cool? Bass players are cool. Bass is cool. I tried it. I couldn't play very well, so I stopped. Because I was cool. Playing bass. So you you wouldn't play bass if you couldn't play it. No, definitely not. It's perfectly obvious he jumps. He falls. He falls off the bridge. He would he not. Jumps. He oh, would come not, on, guys. He would not purposely jump off come the bridge in front on. of a friend. His friends. If he wanted to kill himself, he would have written a note. He would have shot himself in the head. He would have taken sleeping pills. He would not have gone to the he bridge with his friends. Do what like, Tony they does. did it. That's they did the only thing the he can do. It was like common thing for them to do. It was a Saturday night out. He does it. Go he does it. He then, kills then, himself. You know, going to the bridge and falling kills around. Him. He kills himself. Excuse me. What are you guys talking about? Saturday Night Fever. The film? Directed by John Badham, 1977. 1976. Starts John Travolta. I, I've seen the film. We know one of the guys dies at the end. And the point is? Well, the point is, is that the film being, you know, the pinnacle film of the 1970s, um, this event at the end in which he falls off the bridge... Jumps. Falls. Jumps. Basically, you know, it says that you know this is the uh, the coming for the eighties. That that it's the metaphor for the nineteen eighties. And John Travolta's work is is obviously very important. And uh, and that's why you know in the end of the film when this event occurs, you know, as a metaphor, mood. it destroys your theory if, that he falls. Well, you know nothing. If he jumps, you know that's the eighties. Everyone jumped. So I was playing around with that, and then I realized that I could get a fretless five-string bass. So I bought one of them, and it's just like I have no frets to deal with, so I can play all over the place. It sounds, it just sounds fabulous. And then there's this fifth string. It's just like, it's like a totally added new dimension, like a fifth dimension, you know? And I just play the fifth string only because it sounds so good, and I just go everywhere I want and it sounds great like it's a total crowd pleaser like people will come to see shows just to hear me play bass I'm getting bored and we're done who's to say who's to say if there's God who's to say if they're cool what do I love if you try hard, you can tell right away. You can tell the people who try and be cool. Cool, you know, it's, it's, it's so overused sometimes. It's almost become a trite term. What do I do? Where do I go? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool like, um, like the professor on Gilligan's Island. Everyone wants to be cool. Everyone hopes there's a god. I hate love. I love hate. It's pretty cool, I guess. If you wear good shoes, you're cool. And it's also about being above people's heads that don't get it. Love. He really likes what I'm doing right now. I mean, I play bass, and he plays bass. I'm so cool, I need a jacket.